Where night would fall, you'd be sitting by the windowsill and talking to the stars. Heart to heart, wrap around you like a linen cloth, and me and about the here and now, the past and all to come. Oh, this life. Ahoy, ahoy me hearties, me land lovers, and welcome to another episode of my Assassin's Creed playthroughs. Ahoy, happy Memorial Day for those of us in the United States, and uh, got a nice little Om Nom mukbang for you. Lined up. I made some. It's all homemade except for the. I got pulled pork, pulled pork, uh, mac and cheese with truffle bacon. Let's see that. Oh, this is homemade pulled pork, bacon, truffle mac and cheese. So we'll snack on that throughout. I made that. I didn't make the pulled pork. But I did everything else. I made the cheese. So it's kind of like pretty much homemade, right? And uh, as an American, obviously Memorial Day. Uh, it was the day that, uh, in a nutshell, we kind of just, it's supposed to be a day of remembrance or, or memorial of those who have fought for America and perished. So, just a quick little moment to, you know, 
Amer past America that made the America we currently are in so interesting, but awesome nonetheless. So, okay. And I also have and that that was my that was a moment of silence. I don't know how long a moment was supposed to be, but I had a moment. We had a moment. And uh, also, I thought I'd also share um, something when I was younger. Uh, I was in I was in the Cub I was in like Cub Scouts. I did Scout stuff when I was growing up. I, you know, I was a Boy Scout. All right, so I was a Boy Scout when I was growing up. But uh, when I was when I was one of the things we did when I was in the Cub Scouts is we went and planted uh, flags um, on Memorial Day. It's part of our um, kind of like you know scouting thing. And uh, I had my picture taken, and it was put in the local local paper uh, front page. So and I and I and I was able to get a hold of the picture. So has has a look. This is me. This is little me. And uh, June third, nineteen ninety nine. I went. I, I'm pretty sure I was a Cub Scout here. But I went and uh, planted flags with my Cub Scout uh, squad, clan, troop, pack. I think it was pack, Cub Scout pack. You know, and uh, you know, and I and I. So this is me planting a, a, a flag on Memorial Day when I was younger. So I thought that's pretty cool, right? How did it turn out? So far, Yar. Okay, so uh, anyways, just thought I'd throw that out there, a little cool Memorial Day thing. All right, all right, back to our regularly scheduled programming, I guess, which is Assassin. Oh, let's let the stream. Let's let the stream update. Zap into the Animus in tech. Well, kind of. Remember, we're at the office where we last. Which is weird. It's like. It's almost everywhere. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Spent a good hour. I spent a good hour making this mac and cheese. Oh boy. Now you're ready to sail oh no, no, no. All right, Not right now. Jack. Whoa! No singing right now. This is all about... Well, I'll be singing... Let's see. Didn't I dock this thing last... Anyways. Some mac and cheese with pulled pork, truffle and bacon. Not to be a hearty meal for a pirate. How did I get back in here? That's right. We left off in the uh, computer screen. Oh. Well, I think we have to go to the. We have to do something in here first. Well, let's check it out, you know. It's Montreal. So, you know, they don't, they have a different day for this sort of thing. So let's check out the new office, I guess. It's just a lazy day. Cool. Well, uh, who is that? Is that Kenway or some other character? Who's that? Oh, it's the guy from Havana. That's right. Alright. 
What does this tell us? How should it, should I just do this in a normal voice? I mean, I'm just reading it like a normal person, right? Okay. Right, I'll just read it just like if I was just like normally reading. Okay, let's try that. Big net life is both sacred and prof profane. Sacred and profane. Priceless and worthless. Fleeting and eternal we submit. Being that life can be as easily construed from primordial swamps as from a stinking petri dish we submit. Being that those who come before imbued us with life and may remove it as readily should we defy or deny their original. Kind of what the f? What does that mean? Does that mean like? No. Well, this is this is a big thing. It's a, it's a, good, it's a profound question. Hmm. Do I have thoughts on this? I guess this is from the context of like that energy being stuff, right? Fragment people, you know. All right, it's really deep. Deep because, like in America, you know, we created this thing where like we participate. And we serve. Right? Isn't that cool part about America? Right? Created with participation and service. Or, you know, if, if you choose to do that, you know, public, you know, like public jobs, stuff like that. It's, it's a willing kind of like, it's an important role in our society, I guess. Maybe not, not in every society. We have an important use of it, I think. So. It's certainly different for a lot of other societies for a long time, huh? That, that's a really, you know, pretty deep. It really is. Well, anyways. Hey, everybody. You guys love talking about deep, profound things? Yeah? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's good. Making a lot of friends like that. Wow. Ooh, office. We got over here. This guy's got a... He's animusing. 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 Who's animusing? Animusing. Ho, ho, ho. You look like you're having fun. I'm not creeping. No. Uh, I don't Cool snacks, cool snacks. Nice bathroom. Okay, can't. No. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> we don't want to go in the. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Can we uh, flush the toilet? Oh, what about the faucet? Really? Oh, man. Some games you can. All right, that was a great experience in the bathroom. Oh gosh, here we go again. It was in the 17th, cent 17th and 18th centuries the world became an indecent place, rent of its original purpose during the ages of industrial revolutions. Here, yeah. 
It was the machines of industry we unleashed in such grand quantities, quite without understanding them, unwound motives and purposes of their own, as inert as they were. Not quite as profound as sticky note number two, but sticky note number four is still pretty good. I think. I'm not, this one makes less sense. Something about industrial revolution. Maybe we need, we, we need more sticky notes to find out. It's gone, has gone. Stuff. Great. Very friendly people here. The Abstergo offices. Montreal. Important office, that's cool. It happens again. Have a word with Melanie and see if it can Just uh, security doors. Doodly do. Doodly do. Maybe. Maybe there isn't another mission out here. Well, that was a good tour of the office. Should we go? Uh, maybe there's one. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, perhaps uh, another sticky note. One more sticky note. I should, should, should I, should I, what kind of, should I do something? Okay. As our tools are genetic expressions of our mental culture activity, and as we are expressions of their mental cultural activity, it must necessarily follow that this world, as it is now, and as it will ever be, is an expression of the first will. An expression of their labors, and thus belongs not to us, but to them. The wires, the cable, the data network that now Crisscross the globe are hers. They must become her body and her mind. What just happened? Did was that good? Did you good? Alright. Cool. How's it going? Great stuff. Alright. Do we do it? Cover it all. Is there more? Perhaps we should go downstairs. Or something. Oop. Hello. Okay. Cool elevator. Like the aquarium. Very cool. Let's walk a little faster here. Oh no, it's another sticky note. I don't know how many forests. I don't know what. I can't do any. There's nothing else. There's no characters left. We submit that we are such tools and such have a purpose for benefiting the tool. We submit we are like hammers and wrenches and shovels made for a specific purpose, not our own. We submit that our purpose is indivisible from the will of those who came before. We submit ourselves, our bodies, and our minds utterly.
very profound. I love it. It's a cool stuff. Just act natural. Doors, okay. What? Great. This is a worthwhile adventure. Okay. Perhaps it's time to go back into the animus. Turning it off and back on again? I've tried turning it on and off again. Okay. That's enough to trigger. Okay. What, what should I do this time? is this word? Alright. Take, for instance, gunpowder, which gave us great mastery over fire. Take, for instance, the Dwario type, which warped our way of seeing true life. Take the light bulb, that gave us light when none was necessary. Takes the automobile that sped us along in velocity is capable of only killing us in new and silly ways. Yes. Is that good? good. Right. I hope you enjoyed that. We need to be cautious. They've made progress on that one. Progress. We are the turtle. We are the turtle. We are underwater. We are a turtle underwater in the ocean. We are swimming. We are swimming through the ocean. We are a turtle. What sound does a turtle make? Do turtles make sounds? What kind of sound does a turtle make? I think I'm ready to go back in the end. Wow. Boy, that was great. That was great. Uh, books, good stuff. A lot of, oh, it's a little cluttered there at the bottom. Can I fix that? Anyways. Alright. Back into the end. Continue. Continue on yourself. So, what do I have, do I have to do something first? What do I gotta do? It says this part isn't available. Oh wait, this is on the other side. Maybe the other side. Right, let's see. Let's see. Russo, let's move!
Dipping, dipping. No. And that's why I'm the captain of this here ship. Gentlemen, ah. as is custom among our kind, Pirate, sir. we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout I! Those who oppose, whimper nay. Well, that's a loyal crew. Never was the King's Council so unified. Stay out of combat. Oh boy. My favorite. Alright, here we go. Into the ocean. Oh my gosh. Oof. Okay. Let's just move right back up. There we go. Alright. Oh my gosh. Whoa! anything clever to say right now. So I'll just be, uh... Yeah, I got nothing. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Some treasure. Oh, there's ten chests on this island. Okay. How big is this place? Oh my gosh. The Great Iguana Island. these things. Okay, okay, okay. This uh, little obstacle course here, I think we figured it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got it. Okay. Moving on up. Climbing the very odd ladder of success. And completing one of life's odd journeys. As soon as we get to the dippity top. We did it. Yes, that's it, right? No more. Oh, there's more. Okay, hold on. There's so much more to do. What was I thinking? Oh, man. Absolutely delicious. Yes, they'll never find me here. Mm. It's camouflage. I'm camouflage. What did I tell you? Okay. I think he'll notice this this time. No, because we're sneaky assassins. And just like that, we're able to move on to the very next objective. Wait. Treasure? Treasure.
all of our abilities here. Stay out of combat. Exactly what an assassin is. And just like that. Right, my little iguana friend. Let's distract him. Come here. I give you a little hug. Just want to hug you. Supposed to slide under this? There we go. Oh my. Ooh. That's. That's cool. Another lovely view. Boy, some heavy drip drop right there. Winging our way to success. This is just pure stealth mission here. Interesting. Interesting. Oh boy. This guy looks hammered. Way. 
make or hate. Nope, you see nothing. I think we're going to be able to get all the, uh, the items on the island. Quickly, quickly. Fast, 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 fast. Nope. Wow. That was really close. Okay. Steal that. We did it. That was great. Mm. Lovely. Look at us. Playing just the sneakiest little assassins. Elite. Super assassin, super pirate. I'm telling you, man. It's happening. It's all happening. Air sass need to cast. Shit. And the, uh, alright. So now we gotta get to the boat, locate the dude, and then air assassinate him. No problem. This'll be great. I'm nothing but a bush. Nothing here but a silly old bush. If you could nail this on the first try, that'd be great. See nothing. They see nothing. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh no. This is this is Oh. Oh, I know what to do. Uh. <laughs> 
silly, silly, silly. There's something about this magical water. It keeps all the enemies away. You were worried there, weren't you? Park really good. Mm. Okay. Well, last but not least, we gotta do air assassination. Oh my gosh. No, you see nothing. Yeah, right. There we go. There we go. Alright, we're back. Assassination. Now. Hey, oh, look alive! Okay, wait. How do I? I think this is it. I got it. I think I did it. Remember the gift you gave me. Oh my gosh. Magical. Just it was just magical. As bold as a musket ball. That was I'm still half as sharp. Such an exciting mission. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenny. After all you have seen. After all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless hog. Yes, ah, yes, yes. What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. Oh, that's real open world. The cove is ours! Which is the cove? And, even 100%. Oh my gosh. Not my favorite mission. So. Um, it was okay. I've, I've, I've had better. I've had better. Not bad missions. Uh oh. Hey. I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. Actually. A welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch mm -hmm. employees for doing quality work. Words? They're nice to have since there's no official bonus scheme here. Huh? I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. 
Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Exciting. Follow me. It's on the top okay. floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first timers, so saw me, we had uh, the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Saw me walking around everywhere. They must want to say hello. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Really? Glad he's not a zombie. Thanks. I'm a turtle. Hello? Hi. Testing, testing. Is this thing working? Huh? <coughs> this is John from IT. We met earlier. I, I was calibrating your animus. I'm sort of the uh, Scotty of this Abstergo enterprise. <laughs> In charge of all the tech stuff. Uh. Do you have a minute? Oh, ah, oh. oh, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Mm -hmm. ah. All right, I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Cool. Interesting fella. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Okay, thanks. Have a good one. Oh, wonderful. That's great. Hello. Well. Well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... What is this? But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. Wait, wait. Sticky note. Exactly. Talk about all that together at the shareholders event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, this year. Salut. Hi. Thanks Salut. for coming in. I know you're busy. So I review some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? A uh, ladies' man, you say, huh? Well. So the main reason I asked you I can do that. concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But some big wigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find, and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Okay. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Au revoir. Naturellement. Uh, I mean, au revoir. Oh, Au revoir. Sticky note. Let's test out our ladies' man. The new sticky note. Oh. Into the gray. The digital frontier. The singularity. The space in which she dwells, being both made of light and the embodiment of darkness. This we call the gray. Being that we are the instruments of her will, instruments of the first will, the original will. We submit this credo to the world. How's that? Is that ladies man like? I remember playing a ladies man, just role playing. Right. Not actually a ladies man. Am I? Am I? I mean in certain capacities, right? Anyways. Tax report. Hi. 
Hi, John from IT again. Oh. You got a second? Maybe. Good. Hmm. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Huh. Easy. And please be snappy. The Sounds sketchy as F. I'm as... That sounds sketch. Sketchy. Doesn't sound like they're giving you much choice, though. There's a storyline, and we must complete it. Another sticky note? No. So I'll just. Locked door. Not a problem. Locked door. That's the advantage oh. of me having level one security clearance. Yes. Now you do too. Don't awesome. Abuse it. Clearance. Log on and Activated. I'll walk you through this. Okay. Super super assassin, super pirate. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. All right, the hacker. Whoa. All right, what do I have to do? No idea. This is okay. I think I got it now. Just you know, finding. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject hey, 17 Desmond. Desmond Miles. Oh the subject God. was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. You really did we that. had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Damn. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Oh my gosh! Data analysis and sequencing is already underway Desmond. and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3. The legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Oh shit. Oh shit. Poor Desmond, man. You got the autopsy right where he... Man, we just... Pulling on right out of him. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. Hey, what about... That file you acquired, I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, well, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend that never happened, okay? Oh, sure. Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. No, anyway, the no, courier no, should no, be waiting no. downstairs. She's been here a while. 
I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? Oh. <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. But I'm a super, I'm a super assassin, super pirate. Oh. It's just part of the game. Wait, should I? What if there's stuff that's what if there's really good stuff on there? What do you got? Hey Dad. Uh you know it's uh it's funny. I, I have this memory of you. Uh one I keep coming back to. This is long. I, I always think about it when I'm working. Just before going to bed, uh, because it um, sort of calms me, I guess. Um, I was 14, I think, and, uh, I don't, uh, and you were trying to teach me how to, to walk with a light step. I don't want to listen to all this. How to be mindful of how much noise I made when I moved around. Simple stuff. Stuff I understand now, but back then, I uh, gotta tell you, I thought you were just being <laughs> an asshole. Uh, so, uh, you told me you were going to go up to your room and sit with your back to the door and read a book. And you wanted me to wait at least 15 minutes and then sneak up there and tap you on the shoulder without you knowing. I, I even remember the book you were reading at the time, the one by uh, Captain Johnson. Captain Johnson. And you warned me that if you caught me, we'd have to start all over. Ahoy. Then you went upstairs. And I waited. I waited and I waited and I waited. I waited four hours before deciding to go up. And even then, it took me 20 minutes to get to the foot of the stairs and uh, another 30 to get up them. And then 10 to get down the hall and there I was at the door. And Not even halfway through. Into your room. And I was, I was so hoping that you'd be asleep. But no. No, you, you were still reading. And I just about shit myself. <laughs> Ten minutes later, I was just five feet away from you. Oh my gosh. And that's when I remember setting my foot down. And you flinched. Ever so slightly. You what kind of memory flinched. is this? I thought maybe I'd imagined it. But I knew you'd hurt me. You didn't say anything. Checked your watch, you reached for your drink, you took a sip, and then you kept reading. But I knew I'd failed. You didn't say anything. I, I, I didn't understand why. Then I lunged and tapped you on the shoulder, and you turned around, and oh, fantastic, you said, and you scooped me up, and you gave me a big hug, and Man. I didn't say anything. But Dad, Who's on fucking Dad, I was so pissed off. I wanted to scream at you. I, I failed, and you knew it, but you said nothing. This is not going to be Desmond's like I highlight reel, is it? For weeks, I thought you were. The subject you know, seventeen stuff is like Desmond's I like. Decided right there that I was never emotions. Going to be the man you me to be. It's Desmond's emotions. Yeah. Arr, I, I realized just a few years this ago. This be a weak pirate, darr. You checking your watch? Just kidding. Well, I don't know, maybe, maybe a weak pirate. Not everybody has to be a pirate. And not everybody can be a pirate. And not everybody can be a super pirate, super assassin. So, you know. There's that. I guess it depends. It really depends on the context. I didn't the situation. I think I did know. Cool. That was great. That was a great memo. I'm so. We sh All right. More. Right. What else is there? I mean, don't do this.
boy. What do they got? A painting. That's lovely. Well, that was much nicer, I suppose. Although the paint, the person who's in the paint, maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're not a good person, though. So. Art. Hey, art. Sticky note. Alright. Today's Abstergo Templar frauds have given themselves to base practices and claim wrongly that man and woman are delicate and sensible and feely creatures in and of themselves and therefore deserve satiety and comfort and mindlessness in the presence of pleasure. Nothing could be sicker, falser, disgusting, lying bastards. Anyways, I think we looted this place. We got it all looted up. Loot him, loot him good. Alright, I was never here. Super Pirate, Super Assassin. Four, four, four. You're just being ridiculous now. No, not. You're being ridiculous. Where are we going? Oh, no. Turtle, back in the ocean. The progress, take progress. I'm so sure so leave it as a slow pace. Well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. Oh, wait, no, no, I know no. them. I followed that I mean, recipe I do, I too. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And they pull Rebecca here, wait for nearly thirty minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful. You're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Mm. Doing a job. Mm. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Super pirate. Super assassin, thank you very much. The turtle. Assistance au niveau 2, projet échantillon 17. Support to the second floor, sample 17 project. Wait a minute. Sample 17. Oi. Where are you going? The market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them. And I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Wake up, Kemwe. What's that about? He left this morning with the galleon, as faith will discover a good use for this old core of ourselves. Aye, we'll make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. 
With a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Call mine honor. Let me know if you find anything. So, uh... So Great Iguana Island is our little pirate cove, is it? Let's go see what, uh... See what little adventure. Edward, over here. Get here real quick. You must see this. What is it? Come on, man. Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. We've already done these. Look past shadow and sound. Deep into matter. Ah, oh, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? To see sounds and hear shapes. Quite a combination. Yes. Just lining it up. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had quick buried treasure here. Finish things off. You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. These are all our Mayan statues. I found something else just here. I think I'll take it much faster. Wonderful. Now this has the makings of a mystery. My Stellas. Not so, my Stellas. So many my Stellas. What's this? Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur Ducasse is a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. Let's what find do you out. suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of the cast, I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. <laughs> An iron maiden or a collection of thumb screws. Jeez. Or a pair of anguish. <laughs> or a brand new pirate treehouse. Not a nice way to kick off. That is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. 
He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning, then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuses better than none at all. Cool. Chest. Mm. We uh, We'll save that viewpoint for next time. And uh, I think... Once we get to this last little bit here, I'll probably call it for this episode. This cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made man. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know hey, is like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. Dangerous prizes. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, Yummy. did you? me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. I like this. Cool. Well, well, no, the truly outrageous. This is our code now. This is where we live. Yeah, we did it. So, uh, Boy for today's stream. Ahoy. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for spending uh, your time on the internet. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you to the one person who chatted in the chat. Mucho appreciato. And uh, I'll see you again Wednesday. I'm not sure what delicious treat we'll have, but you know, I'm sure I'll think of something. Or not. I don't know. I always have something. Even if it's just a protein bar. Well, see you next time. Have a good one. And, uh, yeah. All right, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye.